Um, have you guys, if you've never read it, uh, at least uh, get the summary of it, uh, a great book called How to Read a Book by um, uh, something Adler. I forgot his first name. But um, How to Read a Book, it's very simple. The guy used to be at a, a, a professor at Columbia University. I think he wrote the book in the 1920s. And he used to have you know, courses discussing the great books of literature, of Western literature. And he thought that his reading of the books was very deep, and it, he, he discovered that it was very superficial. And then he presents, you know, after a lot of research, introspection and reflection and exposure, how a person should actually read a book. And that's one of the reasons why, when we read books, we might read a book from cover to cover, and then afterwards, when people ask us what was the book about, we're like, I honestly don't remember, because our reading of the book was very, very superficial. So he mentions four levels of reading, four different ways. The first one is just kind of getting an interest, an understanding of what the book is. So for example, many times people will get a book and they won't read the introduction because that's boring and they won't read the, you know, the, the table of contents and they just open the book like it's a novel. And if you're reading nonfiction, it's not a novel. You know, you're, you don't read it from just, you know, the beginning to the end. And that's unfortunately how a lot of people read books. So he suggests that Number one, you want your first reading to just be kind of an overview of the book. You want to understand what are the main arguments of the, of the author, what are you looking to get out of this book, what are they presenting. And so where do you find that? You find that by reading the blurb that's on the inside of the book. A lot of times that's actually a summary of the book. You're reading the back. What is, you know, the author is summarizing in two or three paragraphs basically what they're presenting with the entire book. So don't skip that, read it. Then read the table of contents. You'll get an understanding of everything that is being um, presented in this book. And then read the introduction of the author. Once you look through these three things, you have a good idea of what the book is. And then you skim through the book and you just kind of look and see what are the things that stop out with this. Uh, what are the things that stand out? What are the main headings? And just by doing that, in five minutes, you'll have a good understanding of what this book is. Okay? Then there's uh, a second level where you're basically reading through the book. Um, and you're getting an understanding of what are the major arguments. What are the major arguments of the author? And then the third level of reading is you actually doing a critical reading of the book. And what he suggests in that is that you uh, engage in conversation with the author. And one of the reasons why books are boring to read, for those who hold that books are boring to read, is because they're not engaging with the author at all. It's just being lectured, lectured, lectured. And lectures get exhausting when a person is just talking and talking and talking and talking and you're just sitting there as opposed to a conversation. A conversation, you might have a conversation for four or five hours with a person if it's engaging. So if you approach a book like it is a conversation where you're sitting there and you're underlining and you're disagreeing with the author and you're questioning the author and you're, you're asking questions and you're doing all of that in the margins of the book, it becomes a more intense experience, but it also becomes a more rewardable experience or a more rewarding experience. And then the last level of reading the book is reading around the book. So you're reading um, in the field around the book. You're, you're reading other books by the author or you're reading other books on the topic by uh, other authors so that you have a general, um, a more uh, comprehensive view of where this book falls in the place of that field, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. But the point here that I want you to know is the idea of when you're reading the, any book that you, you bring it to a higher level of engagement, understanding that in every book in your library, you should have, at least know what's inside the book. You should at least go through the process of writing a table of contents, and sometimes even writing your own table of contents, because you know what's important to the author might not be important to you, and uh, what's not important to the author might be important to you. So writing out your own table of contents, engaging with the book at that personal level, and a lot of us.